I recently spent two weeks in Indonesia, splitting my time between the islands of Bali, Nusa Penida, and Gili Trawangan. I was joined by two friends, and together we spent our time going on endless adventures and eating our way through Indonesia. But before we can enjoy the beauty of Indonesia, we must first enjoy the travel journey. In this vlog, I take you with me on our 33 hour journey from London Heathrow to Ubud, Bali. What is up guys, welcome back to my channel for another series in Bali, well Indonesia because we are planning to move around a little bit in Indonesia and by we I mean myself and Wadzi and Kudzai. So it's definitely a girl's trip. We're currently in Doha, we're on our layover. I didn't vlog the start of the trip because one, we were trying to pack, <laughs> not pack but trying to get into the car, um, our bags were quite big. And we were slightly worried we're gonna miss the flight we didn't hallelujah now we've got our layover we've got another hour here before we start boarding our flight to jakarta and then from jakarta we're going to bali so it's a very very long travel day and i'm gonna bring you guys with us because the holiday starts now Finally made it to Indonesia. We are at Jakarta Airport. Is that how you say it? How does it say? Jakarta. Jakarta. Yeah, we're at Jakarta Airport. Honestly, the whole process took less than 30 minutes. Like it was less than 30 minutes to get your visa, getting it stamped, going through immigration. They didn't even check anything except for your passport. So that was easy peasy 30 minutes. What's taking the longest time is our bags because what is bag over here is nowhere to be seen. But I don't know if I told you guys, we've actually booked accommodation to stay in the airport tonight because we've got one more flight to Bali, but that's going to be about 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we're going to stay in a little, um, in a capsule hotel, which I love, I love. I stayed in one in Japan and I really enjoyed it, um, but I like confined spaces. But don't worry, I'm going to show you guys a quick tour of that and check it out together if we can get what's this bag that is. Or we can leave it. How do you feel, what? We'll look for your bag tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> I just want to see oh, and I'm low-key hungry as well you are lovely <laughs> do you know what I mean I'm even surprised you carried it with one hand where have you been though? take mine off oh my gosh can we go sleep now yeah we can <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have the bag. Now we go sleep. And then Finally. We'll in the train. Oh my gosh. Boy, are we happy to see that sign. Would you believe me if I told you it took us an additional 30 to 45 minutes to find the airport hotel? It was insane. The directions were not quite so clear and every time we asked an employee at the hotel, they were not quite sure what we meant. But eventually we found it and here we're now preparing our bags. We're essentially taking out the things that we're going to need during the night and in the morning so that we can leave our big bags in the storage. All right, we're ready. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. So we finally got access to the capsule hotel and tour rooms. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour, but I think people are sleeping. So I'm gonna try to be really quiet. If you can't hear me, I'll do a voiceover, but let's give it a shot. So first things first, you gotta tap. You need to tap once. <laughs> oh yeah. And then open the door. Oh, thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Okay guys, so we're getting. To the right we've got all the lockers over here and to the left that's where all the capsules are you see them there so my one is 503 and it says so on this card you've got your number i'm directly a model onesie again you use your own key card to get access to your locker and i just want to show you guys so the lockers come with a pair of slippers and a towel that you can use for showering and this is how much space you have so the girls' big backpacks couldn't fit here either, so they also had to go to storage. I'm gonna go show you guys. And there is, it stays locked. I've got the right numbers in here. 
line, like I said, is 543. So we're over here. Again, directly above what's in 543. I'm going to show you guys inside. So you tap here. And it just opens up. Guys, this is so cool. I love it already. I'm gonna show you guys a like super quick room tour. Ah, I love it. I told you guys I love capsule hotels. <laughs> All right, let me show you. So, okay, so this is where you slot your card in to turn everything on. And I see here we've got the lights. Okay, cool. This is cool. Uh, TV, because we do have a TV. Here's the remote and here's the TV. Pretty dope. What else do we have? Door lock, interesting slip mode. What happens if we press that? Ah. That switches off. Actually, I think we'd rather film in this kind of lighting, no? So let's keep slip mode on. Oh, maybe not. Sorry, we were rudely interrupted, but it's fine, we move. I did, however, learn that if I wanna open this door, I need to put my card against here, and that's how you open the door. But back to the room tour. So this is how we control the brightness on the lights. Um, we've got, oh, ambient lighting, what does that mean? Ooh, the color check. <laughs> guys, guys, stop it. I like this. I like this oh my gosh that is so cool okay ambient lighting we've got an air fan it is on I can hear it on and now it's dead quiet okay cool I'm not sure what this is for should we play around and see um what is that oh okay to control okay cool 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 oh USB fab so we can charge stuff we've also got headphones perfect so I wonder why the TV was initially playing out loud if we've got the headphones connected interesting um what do we have reading light oh okay that's controlling that do you see that and we're gonna dim that oh my gosh this is really cool oh oh they provided us with water and we just went out to buy a drink so that wasn't necessary but okay this is really cool like this is it from an angle how cool is that i'm sorry i love it i love it in this proper confined space like it feels like i have my own room to myself perfect um i'm trying to remember how much we paid i think we paid 13 pounds each for our own little pod which i think is great value for money to be honest especially considering everything you're getting um tomorrow morning i'll show you guys the shower rooms because there is somewhere to shower obviously um i'll show you that tomorrow ah! okay i'm gonna sleep oh this is perfect and you know what i'm actually really warm i don't think i need a blanket i will see you guys tomorrow morning when i give you a tour of the shower and when we make our way to bali <laughs> i'm excited oh, all right good morning guys so oh, yeah all right good morning guys so it's not like good morning to be honest with you we barely slept um first of all right before we fell asleep we were checking our um, emails and we realized that our flight had been moved up by an hour so instead of leaving at 6 a.m we're now leaving at 5 a.m so it's currently 2 a.m and we're awake because the plan was to shower but now that i'm in the shower i realized first of all i forgot my slides so i'm wearing these um and i do not want to go in those shower bare feet and it kind of smells i don't think i'm going to shower here and i think i'm just going to go shower in the villa when i've got my slides and everything that i need um, but I'll give you a little tour of the bathroom because I said I would um, as much as I can anyway because obviously it's a bathroom but in this room I'm alone so let me show you um, it's honestly really very just basic sink toilet um, over here you do have the shower but like I say I don't feel very good about showering in here so I think I'm going to go shower at the villa so let's go back Oh, and by the way, a quick review. <gasps> I like the vibe, I like the idea of this capsule hotel, but... Someone! Who is it? I'm not showering here. No, I was just having a good sex. Yeah, <laughs> she's not showering here enough. No, we're not doing it. I'll just say to the vlog, I was like, I'm not showering. Come look at mine, please. Come look at mine. It's like, worse. Yours is really big. Really? I was like, no, can you smell it? Yeah. I was like, I'm not showering in here. <laughs> Oh guys, really quick. So really quick, this is what the showers look like and you each have a room. 
Um, could I just call me into hers? Go Do in. I want to go in? No, why is it wet? <laughs> oh, no. The toilet's worse. The toilet's worse. I'm not going to show you guys. Yeah, they're not clean, so. I'm just my advice, face. just use it to sleep. I ain't even doing that. Wash your face when, that don't you think? I'm not. I'm yours. <laughs> So you guys, my advice is just come in here to sleep and I said that very loosely because I didn't sleep. Um, I know once I didn't sleep. You can hear everything. There was a guy singing next to me and above Kazai we heard every every syllable. Once he was on the phone to God knows who. You can hear everything. When somebody twists, you hear it. When somebody walks, you hear it. Um, yeah, so we, yeah. <laughs> you can hear everything. We barely slept. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I would recommend it. We paid 30 pounds for the night. Um, yeah. Make of that what you will. It was cool, but yeah, I did sleep. I'm definitely not showering this gross. <laughs> but anyway, I'll catch up with you guys soon because I'm going to need to get ready and go catch our flight to Bali. <laughs> Can't wait for the villa. Obviously, I'll show you guys the villa. Stay tuned. Guys, always budget extra time when you're navigating the airports here. Like yesterday when we were trying to get to Capsule Hotel, we lost, I swear, an hour. An hour. And now we've been walking around up and down this airport trying to find the terminal that we need for our domestic flight. It turns out we're on the wrong side of the airport and we actually needed to get either a taxi or a train or a shuttle. And then, and then the taxi drivers tried to rip us off. So we asked the local how much it should cost to terminal 2 and they said it's 50 Indonesian rupiah. The first guy we spoke to, his first port was 200. We said no, he brought it down to 100. But then we went to ask somebody else and he started at 500. When my friend walked away, he brought it down to 200. Like they're always ready to take the kids, seriously. Just always negotiate, bring it down. Ooh. My bad, phone fell down. My point was always negotiate or come early enough so that you can catch the shuttle, which is what we did literally just before we jumped to the taxi, the free shuttle turned up. So we didn't get ripped off. Okay, in hindsight, that 100,000 was probably a fair price because guys, Terminal 2 is far. It's been about 30 minutes, sorry, it's been about 30 minutes since I last spoke to you and we were just sitting in that shuttle thinking, what the hell. So now we're running. What's in here? What board? No, what's this? These are gate numbers. All of this is Terminal 2, but these are gate numbers. <sighs> Den Pasa, that one. Den I don't know what that means, what that status means. Excuse me. On schedule. I have no idea. What's your flight? Um, Den Pasa. Oh, look at them go. Look at them go. I'm trusting that they'll hold the flight for me if we lose it. Anyway, guys, what I was saying is that the 100 is probably a fair price because it actually took us quite a while to make our way from terminal 3 to terminal 2 like quite a while and now that's why we're running because we've got about an hour and a half until our flight leaves and we still need to do check-in backdrop and security it's mad okay. what's happened yeah. yeah all right thank you and the okay checked in bags dropped now we're going security 30 minutes to go fingers crossed this is so mad i can't believe it what's in the cupboard security i think Welcome to Bali, Indonesia, guys. We finally, finally made it after hours. We did the maths. It's been about 33 hours since we left the UK until we finally arrived in Bali. We still have one and a half hours until we get to our villa, which is absolute madness, but it's fine. It's, it's part of the game. It's part of the game. We've got a taxi which we picked up from the airport and that cost us 300,000 Indonesian rupiah. You guys let us know. Is that a good price or not for an hour and a half? We thought it was fair enough, so... Here we are. We're actually waiting right outside um, because we wanted to get a SIM card. Rule number one, always get a SIM card when you get to a new country. It just makes life easier. I was just in Dubai and I forgot to do this. Instant regret, instant regret. So here we are. Speaking of which, I should probably go get the SIM card and I'll catch up with you guys just in a bit. 
Officially, officially, officially here. Um, so we arrived at the villa, but not technically at because we're here early. Um, it's 10 a.m. But actually check-in is at 1 p.m. So now we're just wandering around. We're gonna try and get some food. No, we will get some food because honestly, I think the three of us are about to fall down in Kanga. But I'm so excited, we're here! Oh my gosh, and the guy, the villa owner, he seems really lovely, Jan. Yeah and he's gonna arrange some bikes for us and those are gonna be about 60 um, Indonesian rupiah for like 24 hours oh my gosh I'm so excited we're here guys we're here I know like, we made it we're actually here we made it oh, do you know there were so many points where I was like yeah we missed it no we yeah, me we too missed it. no me too but we made it look at this guys <laughs> so the gentleman was saying that's because um, they have cock fights which is really sad it's really sad <laughs> But anywho, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> like, oh my god. Sorry, it's like overwhelming in a positive way. Um, I came to Bali before, but that was like three, four years ago. And that was with my, my then boyfriend. But now it's a girl's trip, so it's gonna be a completely different vibe. Where are we going? Just find food. Just find Just find food. I'm so excited. Yeah, please. Yeah, I think maybe more comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, perfect. We like a view. Oh, guys, look at this. They've got like little offerings around. It's so dope. Oh yeah, no, this is nice. Oh yeah. It's like, yeah, proper sitting. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. And you? Good, thank you. Oh, you've got a nice view. Here, or this one. Oh, this is nice. I don't want to be in the sun. Huh? Are you kidding? We travel for this. I don't have SPF. <laughs> With a sausage? I'm going to show yours because it looks a lot nicer because you guys went for the avo. But we basically have the same minus the avo. Got sausage, bacon, and toast. And you guys got what? Orange juice. Mm -hmm. And I got Coke. But guys, look at this mm -hmm. view. Like, this is so cute. Ah, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Yeah, my Coke. Now I'm ready to eat. I might order another one, though, because these are really small portions and we are starving. As nice as that breakfast was, it just wasn't enough. We were so hungry. I mean, at this point, we hadn't eaten properly in in over 30 hours because you guys know plain food is just, it's not a vibe. So after this place, we decided to keep walking around and we found another cute spot that was serving local meals. So we thought, hey, breakfast number two. Uh, breakfast number two, guys. So you know we've got time to kill until our, <laughs> time to kill until our villa's ready. And um, the breakfast we had there... <laughs> Definitely the breakfast we had there was it was a star it was a star we haven't eaten in a while so we needed more and this is a lot um kuza and i went for nasi goreng just because we really wanted some local cuisine so this is what we got look at this little flower so cute 
So this is nasi goreng. It's um, what do you call it? It's the traditional dish here in Bali. And Wadzi felt like she got cheated off for breakfast, so she wanted another <laughs> breakfast meal. And the guy was just saying that this is um, berry jam, right? Mm -hmm. From homemade. his garden, homemade berry, which is nice. He's really is proud nice? of his homemade mm -hmm. stuff because even the coconuts he got from his own garden. But oh guys, let me show you this place. Yes. It's so cute. Look at these little fish. He's got koi fish here. It's so cute. It's such a nice place to eat. Is it nice? Nice jam. It tastes like sun jam. Sun jam? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. If y'all don't know, sun jam is the jam in Zimbabwe. I grew up to sun jam. It tastes like that. Ooh. Let me not try it. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Thank you. Oh, that's a lot though. Mmm. Mmm. No, it does not. It initially did, but it don't. Mm. It does. Can I put it somewhere? Can I put it here? I don't want to contaminate my thing. Then uh, I have the answer. Okay. Oh, okay. What, yeah. what is made the one? Morning for me to love. Good. And then afternoon, thank you for keep up. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> You learn something new every day. He was just explaining about offerings because we've seen quite a few people putting out like loads of offerings, which I showed you guys in the first restaurant. And he's basically saying they're praying to their gods. So I think Bali, um, the main religion is Hinduism. And he was saying they've got three gods, right? So it's one god, but under this god, it's sort of like split into three, if I heard correctly. Um, but the offerings are put out twice a day, once in the morning to sort of um, ask for good luck and then once in the evening afternoon to say thank you for like looking after us that's so really cool it's beautiful so we finish our second breakfast and by this point the villa is ready for us so we make our way to the villa we pick our rooms but before we can even jump into the shower some of the workers arrive and they've got our bikes with them and they basically say hey do you want us to show you how it works and of course we don't want to miss that opportunity so we're like yes please and they spend about 10 to 20 minutes showing us how it works how to put it on how to use the brakes you know etc etc but bless them they must have seen how confused we were so they offered to take us to this car park and show us how to actually ride them you know give us a quick lesson and well i'm gonna just let you see for yourself so we got to our villa but before i give you guys a tour we're going to learn how to ride uh, the motorbike first we had a quick lesson i'm gonna show you guys a clip here and you can see how that went They're gonna take us to an area that's really quiet so we can have like proper goes at riding them because we'd love to do it but yeah we need to be safe obviously oh my gosh it's very scary being a passenger no. and you're not wearing a helmet yeah i'm not wearing a helmet okay. you're not scared I'm not scared no okay <laughs> Okay, we've come somewhere quiet, so now we can practice riding. I'm so scared, but I'm excited. Yeah, she's doing it! She's doing it! You did it! Okay. I think, okay. No, you got it. You'll do it. You got it. You got it. Keep going. It's scary trying to find a constant 
Out of the way first. There you go. Hi, Wanzi! <laughs> Once we're relying on you to learn to drive. Me and Kudzai have failed. We failed our driving test. Good both feet. Go, you're going. Yeah, you're going. Woo! Car, car. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, sorry. <laughs> now this lady is working. Look at her run. Not in Kazakhstan, that's What's she doing? I won't get the I won't get the She's the most confident of us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're thinking that we're probably going to get a driver because I don't think we're going to get good enough to actually be able to ride these motorbikes on the main roads. It's quite busy now. He said literally if you want it quiet, you want 1am, which obviously we're not doing. I don't know. Once it was our last hope, but she ain't doing it either, so I think we're going to get a car. Which is a shame, but we tried, right? We tried. Yeah, but we want to be safe, like safe for ourselves and safe for the, the residents. Like, look at her go! <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the lady for me, she's really running. Oh, it's because I was going to drive to the villa, she feels ready. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. That's so Follow cool. them and we can watch you from behind. Oh my gosh, she's doing it! We love to see it, we love to see it. Oh my gosh, I'm so anxious. Break, now. break it, break, yeah, and turn left. Well, yeah. Okay, so a bit of travel reality for you guys. Um, so when we were planning our trip, we never actually considered that we wouldn't ride scooters. We just like, it was just natural. We're like, yeah, we'll ride scooters everywhere except Nusa Pineda because we knew that Nusa Pineda is really hard to drive, especially for new, for new drivers. So we're like, yeah, we'll drive everywhere, scooters, budgeted for our scooters, etc. Um, and then as you guys have seen, we've just been doing our lessons. And honestly, whilst we're fine to go straight, like because I even drove to the hotel and that was fine because it was a straight road. There's no turns, etc. When we do our excursions, the places we want to go, like we want to do waterfalls, for example. They were like, no, you definitely can't do that because it's up and down hills, left, right. There's no roads, etc. Um, so we just don't feel comfortable driving ourselves on like the main roads for the next two weeks so we've decided that we're not going to it's just not safe it's not safe for us and it's not safe for other travelers and more importantly for the local people who actually rely on motorbikes as their main form of transportation so we will instead be renting a driver for the duration of our stay or if we're going somewhere relatively near we'll just get a gojek because apparently you can get somebody who will drive you and you just go as a passenger which will obviously be cheaper than hiring a driver so i just wanted to come and let you know a little bit of travel reality things don't always go the way you planned and that's okay that's that's part of travel literally um so we'll see we will have to adapt but it was fun i'm glad we tried um i'm definitely glad we tried we tried
I want to come and do long term travel at some point, so I will put aside time to learn. I think one of the guys said you need at least three days of like solid learning to drive before you can confidently go out and about, which I really do believe because I think today we made great progress. And if we had more time, we would have been able to do it, but we just don't. Um, so that's fine. We're going to drive. For now, I am finally going to shower. I am finally going to shower and then jump into the pool, then shower again, then eat. In that order. Oh, it is cold. As you can see, we ended our incredibly long journey with a well-deserved play in the swimming pool. It was a little bit chilly, but after our journey, there was just no way we were not going to jump into that swimming pool. But guys, if you made it all the way to the end, I love you and I appreciate you so much. I mean, you just did 33 hours with us. That is right or die. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. There will be another video in two days time. So hit that bell button so you don't miss any of the videos in the Bali series. I'll see you guys real, real soon. Have a good time. Bye.